Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jerry Norcia. I'm the president of uh, DT Energy, and I'm here to give you an update uh, on our storm event. So as you know, uh, this is one of our largest, it is our largest storm event uh, in history. We've had over 800,000 customers uh, who have lost their power. Um, that's more than a third of our customers. Uh, and I want to give you a little bit of an update on progress. Uh, more than half our customers are now restored, which is about 470,000. Uh, we still have about 340,000 out. Uh, by the end of the day, we expect to have power back to 75% of our customers. So I think we're making tremendous uh, progress here. 90% of our customers will be restored by Sunday evening. Uh, this has been really a historic pace for us to be able to return as many customers this quickly to service. Uh, DTE's restoration team is fully mobilized and really working around the clock to restore power to all our customers. Uh, smart meters have been a huge help to identify customers who are out, but more importantly, vulnerable seniors and people with medical issues, uh, we've been able to use our smart meters to assess uh, uh, whether they have their power on or off. 3,500 people, more than 3,500 people have been deployed against this effort, uh, which is made up of approximately 1,500 line workers, including 950 from out of state. And I want to thank all of our out of state partners who have sent uh, their linemen here to help us out. Uh, 1,000 tree trimmers are now on site, including 250 from out of state. So again, thank you to the tree trimmers who have come from out of state. Uh, now turning to public safety, uh, again, please stay away from down wires. We are still continuing to tape and cut wires in the clear, uh, but there are many down wires and you really need to stay away from down wires. Uh, also, please keep any generators out of homes and away from any ventilation uh, that comes in the house. Uh, because as you know, running generators in your home is a very dangerous thing and can poison you and, and uh, create significant injuries and even fatalities, which we want to uh, really avoid. Uh, help please to look out for the elderly and the vulnerable. Look out for your neighbors as it, the temperatures are really going to drop tonight. Uh, they're going to drop into the teens and we are really worried about vulnerable cu customers, especially seniors um, and others. So please look out for your neighbors in that regard. Uh, this really is a chance uh, for all of us to be at our best. Uh, let me talk about warming centers uh, for a minute as the temperatures really drop uh, this evening and into tomorrow. Uh, DT Energy's first priority is safety. While we work around the clock to secure down lines and restore power, we are also concerned about our customers as the temperatures drop. We are working with our community, municipal partners, religious organizations, and the Red Cross, and Red Cross is here today to talk to us. Uh, the United Way and many other agencies uh, to identify and support warming centers for customers affected by Wednesday's uh, unprecedented windstorm. We've identified more than 70 warming centers across the state uh, and they have been confirmed. We are working with these warming centers to determine what needs we can answer, including water and blankets. Uh, we do have a screen here uh, right in front of you, I believe, that will show all of the warming centers and where they're located as well as you can find them on our website. Uh, there is a link to empoweringmichigan.com uh, where you can find information on the warming centers, their location, hours, uh, as well as their, as their phone numbers. Um, during times like this, we all need to take care of each other. I think that's something that I uh, continue to encourage and many of our officials here at the company have been encouraging. Uh, we encourage everyone not only to take advantage of these warming centers for themselves, but also to connect with neighbors and the most vulnerable in their communities to be sure they are safe, uh, especially as the temperatures drop. Uh, 